When somebody trusts you enough to share what matters most to them, and when somebody has a life-limiting illness, you find that people share a lot. That's very fulfilling. Um, it, there's something about it that isn't mimicked in any other nursing I've ever done. And um, I mean, there's been there's been times where a 92-year-old has taught me how to make cottage cheese, and at a time where I thought cottage cheese was made a giant. And uh, she, she step by step taught me how to make cottage cheese and she was proud of that and, and I was proud of that and it's something that we shared and I find that every single day there's something that's shared and I learn something from people and hopefully I'm able to give to them uh, what they deserve and what they need. So I find that extremely fulfilling and it's part of the reason why I love my work. I chose to work in hospice based off of my past experiences. I worked in acute care and you don't really know much about hospice. You associate it with death, which it's much more than that. I then went to a continuing care retirement community and it had levels from independent living all the way up to long-term care and dementia. So during that time, I was able to work with hospice organizations because they came in to service our patients. And I was just able to see how we, it lowered hospitalizations for the residents and they were able to stay in their home and they were never alone throughout the dying process. They really had hands on from the staff at the facility and then from the hospice staff. So I chose hospice and palliative nursing as my specialty after having worked in the ICU and ICU step down. So I ex experienced patients who at times were being resuscitated multiple times in a night. I worked night shift and the outcomes were not always the best. Some of them ended up dying or having prolonged life on tubes and you know IVs and machines. So I decided to transition into hospice care where I felt I could support patients in a more quality way, providing support where they could experience their end of life with the support of their family members, with the support of their loved ones in, the, in their own homes. Previously, I worked with a geriatric uh, population and a nursing home type setting. I was there for 14 years. Um, absolutely loved it. We did have a lot of hospice patients, actually, and I always was so um, impressed and amazed by the hospice nurses that came in. They were extra set of eyes and ears and hands and really, truly just made such a difference for, for our patients. Um, and transitioning over um, into hospice and in that role um, was always something really that I wanted to do. Um, so I was thrilled when I had that opportunity. And it's so different because you're in a person's home. You're in their personal space. Um, it's so much more real um, and, and so much patient so much more patient-centered and family-centered. Basically, there are many different roles within my work. And um, one is listening, being an active listener. Uh, one is... Um, education, teaching family members and other uh, co-workers. Um, one is symptom management. Symptom management is very important. Um, and one is flexibility. Um, I would say that uh, those are big pieces to my everyday work. And listening is probably the most important of all of them. Um, because to get to all the others, you have to listen. We're there to listen. We're there to laugh. We're there to sometimes cry. We're there to learn. Um, I always say never turn yourself off to learning. And just because we do the nursing part, we can learn from our chaplains. We can learn from our social workers. We can learn from our CNAs and we can apply that to our everyday care. My role as a hospice and palliative care nurse is to mainly provide quality of life to my patients and their loved ones. We provide that through education. We provide that through support, both emotional, spiritual, and psychosocial. We provide that through education, education about medication management, nutrition, personal care, 
an overall disease process. What I enjoy most about what I do is being there not only for the patient, but for the family as well, and making the end of life process really something beautiful because it can be. Um, ensuring that the patient is um, minimal pain, minimal anxiety, um, being there to hold their hands, to educate them. Um, this is all, it's a very hard time in each, each person's life, um, end of life care is. So being there and, and helping them really is fulfilling. The ability to help someone when they need the help the most is paramount. Um, I think it's the kindest, most loving thing a, a person can do for another person, whether it be a nurse, whether it be a CNA, whether it be a family member. Um, every single day it's a little bit different and you meet, you meet people where they are and uh, challenges or smiles or, or whatever they have that day. And uh, I, I just find it fulfilling. I love my work.